everybody jets gary here if you're new here please hit the subscribe button if you've been here before i love having you now let's get to Devonte adams I reported that Devonte adams a trade for him is going to happen within the next 48 hours due to the raiders paying a million dollars every week that he is on the roster he's not playing any more games for the raiders so it looks like he's gonna get traded within the next two days because the raiders want to deal him this is why I think the New York Jets are the only suitor for Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams is due a little bit over $10 million a year. It is reported that the Las Vegas Raiders do not want to add on any salary in a trade for Devontae Adams, which meaning that they don't want to pay the rest of his salary. They want the team that they are trading him to to take the rest of his cap on for this year. And what Adam Schefter recently said on the Pat McAfee show is that Devontae Adams either wants to go to the New York Jets or the New Orleans Saints. By the Pat McAfee show with Adam Schefter on, it shows that the New York Jets have $17 million in cap space while the New Orleans Saints have $4 million, which meaning that in any trade with Devontae Adams, since the Raiders don't want to take any more of his cap and don't want to eat any more salary on the trade, it looks like the only suitor for Devontae Adams is the New York Jets, and it is expected to happen within the next two days. How much do I think Devontae Adams helps the New York Jets? A lot of people could argue that Devontae Adams won't help at all because we have a lot of weapons. I think the opposite. Seeing by the game yesterday, Aaron Rodgers, to be fair, did not look very good. But I think he's also playing injured. But... Throwing the ball to Alan Lazard, I've seen so many clips, like a minute clips of him dropping passes and showing a stat that Alan Lazard has the highest drop rate of any wide receiver in the NFL. In this trade, I fully expect the New York Jets to get this trade done. I'm expecting a trade of maybe Devontae Adams for a third round pick in 2025. That's what I think is going to happen. And with this coaching staff, they're going to have to make the move. Douglas is going to have to make the move. Because if the New York Jets do not make the playoffs this season, they're all going. Joe Douglas is going to get fired. Robert Sala is going to get fired. Nathaniel Hackett's going to get fired. At least the last two games we played, the last two weeks, against the Denver Broncos and the Minnesota Vikings, the New York Jets lost because of coaching. They are awfully coached. Nathaniel Hackett is very predictable, and defenses run right all over that. The only reason why the Jets even move the ball slightly is because Aaron Rodgers sees what the defense is in and gets the pass to the right receiver by the coverage they are playing on defense. Robert Sala is an awful head coach. We have lost so many games of him not being able to do anything, not having any emotion, nothing. He hasn't done anything for this team. Jeff Ulbrich being there is going to keep the defense the same way it is. Robert Sala is not changing anything. The Jets need a smart offensive head coach in this next cycle if they do not make the playoffs this season. I'm Jets Gary, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, oh. Yeah, stop. Wasting my time.